Navis turn to ban. <sighs> Dire team ban. Ten seconds remaining. Five yeah. seconds remaining. Navis turn to ban. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. <clears throat> Dire team pick. Welcome back, everybody. We are finally getting into game number three of this series between new team and Navi. Navi's but first, we pick. do have uh, a couple announcements. Because this series is going late, uh, due to the previous series and such and such, we're actually going to start the Dia second series pick. of the day um, for the European qualifier on ESL underscore join Dota Blue. Um, we have one of our community casters that's going to be casting just the first game. Um, the game number two, we will jump into that one. Uh, midway through the series, but let's go ahead and get into our draft show and welcome in Eternal Envy back to the broadcast. And uh, you had some predictions when it came to bans, and um, well, Navi didn't didn't get first Navi. pick, so oh, okay. So if Navi got first pick, uh, new new team would definitely ban Banning Hunter plus Lush Rock, and then Navi would be able to ban Lina plus Quop. But they got lucky, so they didn't get first pick. And no, this, this is different, different game. I still got banned last game in second phase, so they decided to pick out early. Ten I feel like it's just to counter, counter the appeal. Like they wanted two cores that AoE, like Jarl plus Xiao Fei. Five seconds uh, remaining. But they're not, they're just not going to pick the appeal. Yeah, so instead they go for a little bit more open draft with the Tusk as a second Navi's pick. Uh, this could very easily ban. be you know, offlane Tusk, four position Tusk. This could even be Alina support, though a little bit unlikely. Uh, and it's an SF Radiant side. I feel like Navi are in a good position despite planting down your, your first two cores in the beginning of the I don't know, it's just, it's so, it's kind of scary for them, I feel. Because they're, they're, they're kind of playing by fear. Like, they're banning PL now, which they already dedicated two cores to counter it. Well, I mean, PL's a good ban either way, I guess. They didn't ban the Undying or the Spirit Breaker, though. And both of those heroes can be easily pair up with the Tuscar. Oh yeah, that's a good point. They need, a, they need a strong ass safe lane, that's for sure. I, I think yeah. they should play safe lane Dota, and they, I think they should pick like something freaking strong so that they can't just pick Spirit Breaker on dying and like beat down this Drow Copter like they did last game. But this Drow Copter needs to get nerf reform, and they need a, they need a secure lane enough so that at one point they could help the Shadow Queen. Because right now there's a lot of pressure already. Oh, Shadow Demon again, PSM. That worked really well for them in uh, game number one, so they're gonna go for it again here. I, I feel like it's um, maybe another decent counter. Any one of those single target saves, I feel, is gonna be all right versus Tusk, as well as obviously the Lina here. You can interrupt that uh, Yule Scepter, Light Strike Array combination. Yeah. This is also good against the uh, Spear Breaker, which has been picked both games, I think. Ten seconds but again, why, why didn't we see uh. more Shadow Demon before? If that was such a popular thing, both the Five Tusk as well as the Lina being so prevalent in the meta, why didn't we see more Shadow Demon as a response to that? Reserve time. Uh, just, I guess I guess people just do it. Like not every hero is always gonna be like the the meta's always gonna develop even if the patch doesn't change. Yeah. Navi's um, turn to pick. Why to pick Clockwork? Okay. It's a uh, good hero against Charles for the most part. Yeah, and this they, they're not gonna they're not gonna do something crazy like there's no Spirit Breaker on dying to destroy the offlane anymore. Right. It's going for something more safe. I wonder what that 
going to be though, because if they pick like this, it means they want to get a, a carry, like a real a actual carry. Mm -hmm. I don't know, like, I, I, would, I, I wonder what that is. Like, I wouldn't want to play that way. Why is that? Like, I, I, I rather, what I, what I want to do against these heroes, like draw up SF Shadow Demon, is I want to pick heroes like, heroes like P, obviously, or Ember Spirit. Like, I, I, I want a hero that has long range. Like, they have Rocket Flare right now, they have the. Like, the Lime already has a setup for that. They have the Dragon Slave, they have the Rocket Flare, they have the. The Tuscar, like. This is basically all his spells are, like, kind of annoying. Mm -hmm. Like, you just, you just meet something annoying, and you want to. Just beat them down slowly. Because they, they don't have any. Like, how they. Like, SF, Jarl, Jarl Demon, so far, they don't really have any catch. And. Like, you don't really want to run into those. You don't really want to run into Jarl Copter or Shell. Oh, Crystal Maiden. Dio Another team. kind of fragile support, but I've been seeing a lot of Crystal Maiden lately uh, just for the jungling aspect. It seems to be so strong. Still with Shadow Demon and uh, Shadow Fiend and Jarl. But anyway, they, they really need to pick up this, this Ember Spirit. I feel. Ember is immortal against those four heroes. They don't touch him. He can always escape. Right. Um, yeah. Pick Ember, please. <laughs> If um, if they do remaining. pick Ember, what offlaners are left that are really good for hard Five disable? Urshigard is already banned out. Um, I need a hero list, boys. I feel like a fan king, but that doesn't feel. I mean, this is if they pick Ember's first. Let's see what they yeah, pick her. Yeah. I, I I don't feel like that guy's an Ember player. I just feel my heart. <laughs> he does not play Ember. <laughs> <laughs> Anti-mage. Uh, okay, they go for the anti-mage instead. Navi's turn right. to ban. Well, anti-mage for Shadow Demons, but sad. Uh, he, oh, yeah, he gets did. a lot of. I mean, he he they did what I said anyway. Like it's just um, you need an actual. They either go for Ember or they go for an actual carry. Like this is the actual carry, and they're just gonna try to slow down the game. Ten seconds. Well, well, Rocket Flare and like Dragon Slave and whatever. Like those got defend towers. Get to pick Five every now and then with Hookshot and Lino and just try to delay the game. Yeah. For anti mage to go crazy. Yeah, and he's another he's very time. mobile hero, will, which will take advantage of the fact that uh, Navi are kind of lacking disables, hard hard disables. Yeah. Oh, when he has Manta, he's, he's one happy one happy dude. All right, Dazzle going to be the ban out for him. Navi once again. Bears pretty well with the Tusk, and again the last big or last pick. ban Broodmother. <laughs> Centaur War Runner. Centaur, okay. Dire oh, that's team good. pick. That's good. That's a good pick. So the, the thing about Centaur, like I, I talked a lot about Centaur going this, into 6.84. It seemed like that Aghanims had a lot of potential to it. It was just like, how do you make Centaur work in the laning phase? That That's how I saw the the biggest problem for Centaur. Um, but EE, e., you obviously know a lot more. What, what is the problem with Centaur? Why didn't we see him picked up more? Mm. I'm not too sure, remaining. actually. He's a he's a pretty good hero. Five seconds remaining. It's, it's hard to really say. It just you just don't want to play him. Like now, now we played him a lot. Reserve actually, time. actually, yeah, he played against us as well. They're pretty much the, one he, of the few. It's teams. the hero they pick against Anti Mage. Like I I, I play Anti Mage as well. Like, it's uh it's gonna be good to run in, like so they can't just spam you out and try to do something. Like blink in, run in, use spells. But um, I guess Clockwork. I, to, like, clock, I think Clockwork is uh, decent against Center. He doesn't really have high mana pool, and like you can, you can, you can't really just run away. You just hook him in Cog. Yeah. That's a good point. And it, uh, oh man, I'm just thinking about the fact that Animage is such a mobile hero naturally, and now they've got the Centaur lockdown. When you know Blink, he should always be able to hit the stun right, unless the Animage is seeing it coming. Um, but there's still the the defensive snowball and the reactionary like hook shot that's going to be coming in. I, I still see them having such a hard time killing the enemy mage that maybe they need to focus more on just taking down some of these early towers, or maybe they just push it late. I mean, new team they only have an enemy mage while Navi have gyrocopter SF. It's a good combination. Right, that's why I'm talking about. They need a they need some sort of AOE hero. I feel that can that's good laning. Or they can just go for Vayner, though, I think. Five seconds Lion. remaining. Lion. Alright. Hmm. Some hard to there, don't, but... I actually don't like that. 
Well, I'll have to see how it plays out, but I don't, I don't, it's like, I mean, they have Lion Lena, that's kind of cool, I guess, I guess, but, I just, I, I don't feel like that's the hero they're looking for, they, they needed something more, like, AoE oriented, and like, from long range, like, something that doesn't have to, like, like, go in, like, they, you don't want to go in, I feel. Yeah, you're saying you just want to spam out when the SF picks up mech and they try and push down towers, you just want to, like, delay the game as much as possible for the anime yeah. to get six slot? I, I, I wonder how this lion's gonna get a dagger. Like, if, if, if he gets a dagger somehow, like, holy shit, but, like, it's gonna be, it's gonna be quite hard, I feel. Ten seconds All right. remaining. As the players start picking up their heroes, Five see, this should be a pretty remaining. normal setup, right? Defensive tri lane on both sides. Or do they put, um, do they put a support hero with the centaur at all? Mm, they get lane shot even centaur. Prepare yep. for oh. battle. No, I don't think so. I, I think CM's just gonna jungle him, Shadim and Jarl's gonna be bottom. And at one point, I think uh, they can smoke top of CM plus Shadim if they want to, or smoke mid. Yeah, they've already got the boots on the CM as well. So, yeah, it looks like to be our normal lanes. Defensive tri lanes on both sides. We've got the jungling advantage for Navi, obviously, through the crystal main. Yeah. It looks like they uh, should be securing the bottom rune. New teamer. Gonna try and get a little bit greedy, but most likely they'll have to just suffice with the top batting rune. What's really important is how they end up getting farm on the center. Because this meta, it's uh, a lot of teams are giving stacks to their, carry, I mean, to their mid. Center isn't really, he's not really that good at laning. Yeah, uh, he's not a first shaker. He's not, he doesn't have any skills that gives him farm, like in lane. If he's one first two, one first three. So. Yeah, you look at some of the most popular off laners right now Clock, Tusk, and Earthshaker. All of them have some sort of blocking mechanism that is able to ensure the creepy equilibrium allows them to pick up at least level six. And maybe they can rotate out. He, they all have something that has long range, mm -hmm. has uh, some sort begins. of stun, and can spam out waves. And Centaur is a hero that doesn't really pick up. He does all the out. He, he goes in. Like, he, he, he actually goes in. So, Navi's decision then is to run a aggro uh, dual lane, it looks like, of Gyrocopter and Shadow Demon. Seneko's gonna be doing the jungle and probably bouncing between middle and bottom lane. And Centaur will get the opportunity to have some safe lane farm. Now, he's actually gonna be up against the Animage Lion as a dual I lane. I predicted it. <laughs> Predict it. Oh, they're still happening right now. Oh, Dendi, uh, he's already in some trouble. Good ice shards, light strike array, and they're gonna be able to force out. Uh, light strike array actually lands. Dendi was unable to dodge that one. They get the last couple. No, they actually don't get the right click. Now he's actually potioning up. Oh, no fears diving in deep forward. He's got ice shards no. up in one more second, but can't get it in time. And Dendi manages to survive long enough. Unfortunately, he didn't get the kill, which would have popped him up to full souls. Um, but Alina has zero CS right now. And uh, there's a big wave going to the SF. If, if she's not able to deny him this farm, it's gonna be huge. He has a fast coming in, he's gonna full trade. I don't think Alina's gonna be able to deny him. It's one of them to start with, but Dendi's now back up to full HP. Ready to go with some of those raises. Uh, meanwhile, top lane. This is gonna be a very dangerous matchup for the Clockwork. He gets caught by the Shadow Demon's disruption, and they can get the Gyrocopter on top of him before he gets off the Cogs. Then Clockwork should be dead. So he's got to play it very safe and very quick on the reaction. Rock it on! There he goes, the first disruption, Hamos is just gonna be able to close that gap, and now they'll get a lot of rock Barrage damage. Will they actually be able to kill him though? It doesn't look like it. Still, enough to be able to force out a health potion at the very least. That was only a level 1 rocket Barrage. They don't really use anything for that. Like, Charles don't get the last of here too. Like, they don't. It's just good. This clock's pretty fucked, actually. This will come in here. It's not gonna get anything anymore. Good lane, though. Funny, no. <laughs> he's not gonna be able to uh, have low stop mana for long, so he starts spamming out in order to get some CS. And anime, he's just gonna burn through that pretty quickly. This, this is a. Uh, this game looks pretty good for Navi. So far. But the mid lane is doing really well. Oh, they managed to get the frostbite to turn around. They managed to get the long range raise. Now Sineko. One more right click, but no fear. Actually oh. ran backwards. 
Uh -oh. oh, it's gonna see him. It's gonna see him has a uh, boots. Oh, oh, the oh rocket though. Oh, that's huge. He needed that. He needed something. I mean, he's still stuck to level two forever. Yeah. He's actually just stuck. He's actually just fucked. In uh, mid mid lane, it's, this SF is doing really well. Like Lina destroys his matchup. Mm -hmm. So. Especially once we get uh, base boots on, like, if he, he gets base boots early on on a host, that extra movement speed means it could be even a longer range disruption, and Jarcopter can just easily book it to be within inside of those cogs in time. So you're right, he's just going to be, as you said, like, kind of level 2 for forever. He's going to try and go for a pull now, but I'm sure PSM is ready for that. And this, um, this Tusker is level 1, where CM is level 3.5, and Vina is the same level as Asa. So the mid lane is going pretty well. The one thing going for your team is that they have a triple stack. I'll do oh, no, this one. Slowing him down, another long fate lands just in time, and Dendi picks up yet another kill. Dendi is on a tear right now in this middle lane, thanks to the help that he's been receiving from this Crystal Maiden. And now they have an anti mage instead of an Ember, so they can't. This anti mage can't ever help them. <laughs> and I don't think Lion can do much either. So it's, and Tusker is level 1, level 2, and Tusker has no levels. I don't know how they're gonna fight back into this, because Lina can't carry them either, he's level 4. Who's, 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 who's gonna be the one who makes the big play? Who's, who's the one who brings them back into the game? Because now he has every hero on our team that fights. Well, they're actually gonna try and slow down Yoku here, but... Again. Yeah. <laughs> Just forcing him back. Anyway, when you're talking about that comparison between the Ember Spirit and the enemy, you're talking about that period of time where Ember Spirit had his face drums, right? He can actually... He, he just needs level 6. No. Uh, he can secure stuff. Mm -hmm. He's just a naturally much more aggressive hero around that 20 minute marker than anime can ever be. Right? It's also just Lion, too. Lion's not exactly the best zoner, especially with anti -Mage, though. Yeah. So this, the Centaur is getting a lot. Ooh, smoke up. Are they actually looking for, uh, yeah. I think they're looking for either the pickoff on Lina, if not, they'll just take the stacks. Which they find this neat little double stack. Dendi now goes up to level 6. Compare the offlaners here. Cedoy is now level 4, but Funnick as the Centaur is already level 5. Pretty major difference. Looks like Seneca and Dendi are thinking they can actually get a pickoff on Lina, potentially, but... He pushes Again. far forward. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's already died twice. Oh, now, now they just check that they have stack and they just realize they have no stack, so... Yeah. What is the Oh no, he can't try to die here. Ice shards will block him out, Light Strike Ray should land, Frostbite, slows him up, but... He still lands the stun. Crystal Maiden? More so at least like he gets some in return. That's not huge, because uh, now he's all 6 on Lina. He can maybe get one more kill. Just... Oh, funny. He's now got the Tranquil boot, so he's good in lane. If he just keeps himself low mana, makes sure that the Animage can't actually do that much with his right clicks. He's just gonna be too tanky to ever kill. Under attack. Oh, rune. Good rune. Oh, lucky find. He got blueprints. Oh, yeah, he has no, um, he has no water charges on, you know. But he has enough mana to cast all his spells. Oh, he's gonna get a rune. Tusk will help him out. Still though, how CS wise, we've got our Jarcopter sitting at 35 and 14 compared to the 43 and 21. FN doing a little bit better job denying, but again, than, even if it is denies, it's been the Centaur in range of those troops dying every single time. And now that he's got uh, treads, he can actually farm up the jungle a bit. Looks like they may be able to pick up a kill here though, perhaps on Funnick with the rotation round from the Tusk. But if they do, they need to go now while well, Phoenix uh, a bit low. He even health potions up just to make sure he's good. Oh, he's level 6 now. Yeah. That makes it all, all the more rough. Stampede ready to go. Maybe they can find Sineko in the jungle. Ice shards and the right snowball could slow things down for Line to get in range, but they don't try for it. Nice hard can pull. Radiance middle tower. Jarcopter making sure that they keep as much experience out of range. Bottom lane, they're actually going to find out if the stampede will be able to release the kill on the tusk. No crowd. And with that uh, offensive disruption, I think I should go top north. I think. Yeah. Stay bottom. No, he's not stay bottom. 
I'm just, I don't know. I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm like, I'm just trying to think like how what's gonna happen in this game. It's like that time age, if he dies once, this game is fucking instant GG. It's hard. It's kind of kind of hard. There's so much pressure. Oh. Yeah, crystal main middle lane. Yeah, Maybe he'll go out to the top lane once uh, CDO picks up his level six, and they'll run like a full defensive tri lane around Animage, and then have Clockwork just gank up mid and take a shot. Yeah. Well, the shot went minus. So. Wait, what? Yeah, let's let's see. It's interesting. I uh, okay. <laughs> it might be good. He's going Midas into Mech? Mech, yeah. That was just weird. Very odd. But he is far ahead. Flutic, and himself in the trees, actually dodges that. I tried to nail it's full retreat. PSM managed to get the disruption, but FM will just instantly flick away. They double slow down, both go black, and no fear. Snowball comes out going on to Flutic, but there's no damage behind it whatsoever. Meanwhile, Hamos easily cleans up the lane. They're gonna go for more damage. Boss fight on no fear. Good block out with the ice shards, but I doubt it's going to give him enough room to escape. He's going to try and go for TP out, but most knows where he's going. And has the Rocket Barrage easily enough damage to finish him off. Good rotation by Na'Vi, and the guys will make the best of the space they just created and go for the Tier 1 tower. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. No. Radiant structures are fortified. Uh, like new team needs to get some pickups. Well, like Dyer's their spells, like their Lula and their uh, Lion, and hope for the best from there. He's going multiple and tough deals on Tina though. Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. I, I guess the... I mean, we talked about it earlier, right? The Yule Scepter combination. Oh, the Trenable Hunter! They got it! Oh, oh boy! Oh, 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 Snack the Tranquil Boots away from the Crystal Maiden. There goes all that jungle farm. Oh my god, they needed that. Like, I, their morale just has to mess up. So it's freaking way high. Up the, 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 they're, they were losing Soul Valley before. Crystal Maiden was head of all the other supports when it came to net worth, and instantly just one play down to the bottom. Yeah, Sonic has been playing really weird the whole day. Like, he's just a very antsy. And, um, he has four deaths. He just. A lot of his deaths are very rude. I feel. That that stuff was okay, but he lost his friend of it. Lavol's gonna be spending some time in the jungle now. The mech is gonna be finished up pretty soon here for Dendi. Funnick is actually really close to his blink dagger. He'll definitely have that before the next fight occurs. And that's gonna be huge. Again, like I always felt like the, the biggest question was could could the centaur actually get his blink dagger in a good enough time? And Funnick, thanks to this safe lane solo centaur that they set him up for, the answer is definitely yes, easily before the 15 minute marker. He's owning this anti mage, like. <laughs> anti mage. It's not happy. If, if they lose this stack, Tom will be, will be traumatizing. It's a triple stack now. Dendi has, uh, Mac Midas. 12 minutes. And he's at 6100 net worth already. That's what SDF does, I guess, so... Yeah, it's not just that, like, he... He doesn't need the Basilius for mana reason, because he has a... Uh, freaking crystal man. Oh, yeah. at ridiculously high levels. Top lane is dead. Yeah. Oh, um, wow. Just runs him down. Um... Yeah, that's like, that hurts. And he's gonna lose a stack now, too. Yep, Phoenix willing to commit to that one. Bottom lane, they did they know the line work. Snowball's gonna come in, and he's got the blink out. The Ice Shards had to snag the Centaur before he blinked away, but that wasn't possible. Now they're actually gonna smoke up and fight this one over the stack. Smart play here from Navi, good communication. They know it's just a Tusk, and they really want the rest of these creeps. And maybe in the process, they'll give the Tusk. PSM sees him, tries to run him down, but can't quite get him. Didn't have the purge up, just the disruption. Dendi takes the stacks though, and Radiant's FN just came up to this top lane. He's immediately gonna be stunned up. Can he get any more though? Just a raise. Sineko, just a bit too far away to combo with that one. Still, FN just made that commitment. Oh, Hobos. Looks like he's waiting for the call down to finish up, but still there is the danger of that needle. Everyone's waiting for the stun out for the Zenkar. Goku, please turn around in time, not even close. The first damage takes him out before he can get off a single spell. 
It's an elimination game. It's quite a... I, I, feel, I, feel, I feel it. The struggle. The struggle of life. <laughs> you glad you're not in this position anymore? Uh... Because you guys yeah. just got invited to what? ESL and MLG? Uh, yeah. I, I, don't, I, I don't know. I feel like we deserve it more than some of the other teams. That if, so, but we don't deserve it in general. That's how I feel. Yeah, I, I so mean, if they're, if they're forced to invite someone, then I, we were we we would be the best team to invite. But I don't think we did particularly deserve. Yeah, exactly. It's it's the question straight after TI, Dyer's especially like after every major, it's going to be a little bit of question mark. But especially the, this first one, right? It's all new teams. You just got to go with the names and who you feel the best players have ended up on. Well, uh, two one gets taken out. Level eleven, Dendi by thirteen minutes in. And Midas Radiant's obviously tower is under taking attack. in overdrive with all that extra experience. Yes. FN still working towards his battle fury, but only has the perseverance and another eight hundred gold. Top tower is under attack. Middle tower is under attack. Cedo is gonna have to go ham here. Like he's gonna have to finish up his blade mail and do some serious work against SF and Gyrocopter. Before those they're, they're never gonna win any piece of armor. They're just putting you into a big gun and go and annoy you. Just repeatedly for like 20 minutes straight. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Um, I'm not sure what would happen if that Ember is at the mage, but no, they, they would have done a lot better, I think. A lot better. Dyer's structures um, are fortified. But now they, they have to. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. They have to just stall. Keep stalling. Art. It's not like Atomic particularly wins in the, in the match play against SF Ward and Arcal for even when he gets fast. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. They're gonna try and go for it to nine. Center up for the Dyer's tower, but they're ultimately not gonna do gone. anything. In fact, uh, Funny actually come in, try to stop down Goblock. They may still be able to get him for Stampede. Runs over Goblock, slows him down long enough for Dendi to get the kill. The wrap around though, comes out from new team. He has had to his own life for a little bit longer. In fact, the ultimate, he will actually survive. Sinekel dropping his own ultimate attack. as well. And now, no fear, he's gonna be run down by this centaur here. Another two seconds until the blink is back up, but it's not even necessary. Just another double edge to finish him off. New team. Oh wow, Anthem is cheating back. So you're kind of hinting at new team trying to defend that tower Dyer's and it was a bad idea. Is under attack. Yeah, I'm surprised Anthem is going to go the bomb tower. That put a, would have put him I mean, decently close to that battle fury. He basically would have had it, I think, by 16 minutes. Yeah. Dyer's fall. middle tower is under but attack. Now. Radiant's bottom He's only sitting at 5,700 net worth. Denny is almost double that. Zidoy. They're actually still going to try and fight this one. Round two. Can new team actually get a pick off here? Lose. Going to be the target killer. Lose shot. Zidoy drops it in. Does have that blade nail. Lose actually turned off the battery. So oh, wow. Good idea. Denny's going to be caught as well. He turned around to try and help out his ally. But that just adds another flame for new team to pick up. Some big kills, dude. They, they, they want to stay in this tournament. Uh, go to yes, so those two kills is a three thousand gold swing. Yeah, <laughs> kills on the biggest, two biggest players on the enemy side. Especially Demi going down with such a large number of that he had. Really had to hurt. Uh, funny keys. Gonna be going for a pipe here. What a defiance already finished up. It's been a long time since I've seen a pipe. I have a good reason. Uh, <laughs> it's it's uh it's good at the game. The the stats just aren't good enough for Hood of Defiance. It's just it's just not decisive enough, and I and, and people don't really do that anymore. Like push, push, push. It's more spam. Lose doesn't want to be a part of this smoke. He's going to leave PSM, Funic, and Suneko to do the dirty Radiant's work. Top tower they should have enough attack. burst damage to kill a hero and hit out nice and quick. They're going to back up Dendi, who's pushing in close to that tier 2 tower. Still, new team. After two pickoffs, they're still playing very defensively. Knowing Navi are still well ahead at this point in the game. Battle Fury. Supports on, um... Oh, now we are so poor. They're actually so poor. None of them have. Like, I mean, Chris, I mean, lost his charge, right? <laughs> That's about. Sinek goes about 1500 gold short of where he should be, but. Well, they, they don't have a medallion, so it's very hard for them to get Roshan. <laughs> Honestly, like, they're, they don't have any. Like, they have BKBs and stuff. 
and like there are other items are like pipes and stuff. They're gonna go for all these items, and they need to get this push working. But it's, it's so hard for them to push, and it's gonna be very hard for them to like they, they will need Roshan to go high ground basically. But getting Roshan is not gonna be that simple against like, Clockwork. I know these heroes are spam from long range plus car. Navi seems to be playing pretty scared. A lot of new team are off map. In fact, all of them are right now. New team are hiding four inside their base. This is what I presume is they're expecting some sort of smoke play right now. Navi, while they're off map. But Navi seem pretty content to just sit back and farm for the time being. They're actually gonna try and take Roshan here with these illusions taking up. They need to, they need to know, they need to know what's happening, they need to rock their Roshan. Yeah, Roka, yeah. Let's see if they can stop this, uh, this is very important. I feel like this is unnecessary high ground. Risk. Very hard to go high ground unless you have a Roshan. Jump in, oh, they're gonna be able to find no fear. Bonnie catches them out just in time for that blink. Because by doing this, like, you guess how important Roshan is? They're gonna... Get kills because they're gonna beat the enemy. Up. Yeah, as you can see, they stop doing Roshan entirely and immediately go for the middle tier two tower. Now that they have that pick off. Is under attack. A centaur puts a stop to that push from the enemy earlier, but it looks like with the glyph going out, new team are gonna try and fight this one. Well, the centaur isn't around. The hookshot actually landing on the side. PSM is already gone, but can they actually get more? FN. Taking up some of that rocket barrage. Both gonna be the next target, but turns around with BKB. Wants to be able to fight this one. Lawless Punch will be able to slow him down. Flying Dark Man to catch Go Black at the same time. They do get the Tusk as well. Go Black finally dies. Double kill for a boss. Nice BKB turn around. I think New Team had the kind of the right idea, which was you know, force out that BKB charge and get out under the Walrus Punch, but with Funny catching the lion as well, not really making it work. Uh, they do them too much. Atomage. Go Atomage. Go. Fucking love Atomage. Flip his little heart out. He's got Vlad's coming in as well. Radiance bottom tower. Now these don't really attack. have the best catch of them, that's for sure. Yeah, they only have one playmaker. And uh, when that playmaker is, like, when you see him, then you can just, you're pretty much free to farm anywhere else. Oh, he's not going pipe. He's got a staff of wizardry for uh, a cent uh, a four staff against both Tusk and Bucky. That makes sense. When you play a game like this, man, your heart is fucking beating. It's just the last game, you know. Everything on the line here. It's for Neo. Let's see if they can pull it off. Central ultimate goes out, Funny's gonna look for the opportunity, Duck managed to stun up Yoku, but hides himself in the Ancients, the rest of his team is actually kind of blocked out by the guy. Oh, he's still stunned by Shukurei misses, but that Laguna Blade will not, same goes for the stun, Funny's still alive somehow, but the team, oh my goodness, they finally catch him out, but the rest of the team comes forth, do you manage to get Zedo, I are trying to hook him shot, himself away, a level one trade off, which they'll be happy to take, but it's the Tusk, but is the extra, that makes it worth it for Na'Vi, they did pop, uh, uh, both their BKBs for that. Radiance top tower and fought a lot of time attack. for the enemy. Radiant structures are fortified. Roshan has fallen to the So radiant. Aegis will be picked up by the Ash that top lane. PSM trying to slow down FN if that's possible. Radiance top tower. There's a attack. decent amount of damage to that tier 2 tower. Oh, that's a triple stack. Holy shit, he's still catcher though, but he can do it. Wow. Big. Yeah, this is really gonna speed up his Manta timing. Which is like the one, the most important fighting Radiant's item, right, for the enemy. Once you have Manta, it feels like you're finally able to do something in team fights. Once it's lean, I get that, and I was like, good god. Thank you. So 600 gold. And he picks up an Invis rune, though maybe they can find an opening. This, um. This sort of playstyle, like the secret store playstyle, by being played by Navi, like. It's, uh, oh no! He 
stood still, and Dendi immediately latches onto that opportunity. Goes for the the invis Requiem of Souls play. Burst him down right in front of that uh, tier two tower area too. So Navi's actually gonna go uphill with this Aegis. Yeah, they have a lot of spam. Magnums and starting play. If they die, they have no five man, so Lena has to be somewhat careful here. But they, they only have one playmaker, so as long as you keep as long as you like nuke the centaur, you know you can't pick up. It's each. Most actually going straight for MKB. Nice eye shards block. A bit of light. Oh, dodged it. That's the only playmaker. They can't do anything. They, they, no, they can just run in between and die go. The thing is, like, he scared the perk. Animates. Look at the damage he's putting out. Almost actually is forced to pop the BKB against him. Well, FN. I mean, that was no committal from him whatsoever. He had his. I wonder. I wonder if they're gonna smoke after his wave. They're not, they're not no smoke though. I mean, yeah, they're buying a smoke now. They're trying, they're trying to smoke. They realize they have no smoke. No. So with the agonim on Lena, they can get a pick off. He's already got 10 Bloodstone charges too. If they can get a couple more and have that near instant respawn, especially when it comes to defending barracks, it'll be very valuable. Dandy starts working towards the butterfly. But it's Agent Lena taking over that second and third position in the network chart. Lena has all buyback. He's running around with boots. <laughs> Do you like the face boots, Lena? Like when you oh. pick it up early and just try and abuse the lane with it? Uh, I don't play like her much. I'm not too sure, actually. Okay. There's a lot of benefits to gain these face boots items. They have the damage, four staff forward. Oh. Well, thank you. They've gotten the disruption, they would have been able to chain it with the stun of the centaur. Maybe with the soul catcher, in fact. Not maybe yet. But look how scared Navi is. Cause Instead of using the two minutes to get the mid rack, they're going for the top tower, which is the correct position, I think. But uh, they, they don't feel like they can just break high ground. Despite such a dominant start in the laning phase, seems like new team are climbing their way back to the game. They seem to be very good at, at um, stalling out the game. Yeah. Radiance and I'm sure they're starting to feel the stammer. But do they have enough time? They still have enough time. Oh, they're actually going to back out. Instead of taking the offensive action here, Centaur ultimate goes out, they're gonna catch the Lina, disruption, and call down Bolt there. Yoko just turns, tries to get up a little good play, and does so six like got suicide too. Oh wait, no! Wait, you, whoa, do you see this shit? He suicided before he got the kill. Oh yeah, he did? What? <laughs> well, Guna Blade hit slightly after he commits suicide, yeah. so... That means he, uh... Wow. Yeah. That's, that, was, that was big, like, that was... Big play. And this bust on, like, turned up being epic, because now, like... He responds so fast. Yeah, he's he's, he can't, he can't he's not feeding away any gold. The, the, now, now I feel like Navi's starting to feel the timer because it's not just the anti mage. It's more like this Lena is actually such a disgusting hero, <laughs> and I feel like hey. they wish they didn't let her through. <laughs> she is quite the bane of carries right now, right? I, mean, you... Dota, like... <laughs> I just feel like most carries they're like, I have BKB, and she just walks up and instantly 950 pure damage. She's just a hero that's, she's, she's good against creeps. Like, she's very good against creeps, and she's very good against neutrals. And she's very good against heroes, and she's very good at laning, and she's very good against Roshan. And she can also, like, she has multiple ways of playing, like, she has Lothar, she has Aghanim's plus some, she can get tanky, she, can, she has physical damage. She has things that goes for BKB. She has a stun. She has AOE. She has single target. She, she's a she's a fuck Lena. <laughs> You're just hoping like Ice Frog's listening to this right and picking up notes. Like it. I mean, she I don't think Ice Frog needs to listen to anybody to nerf this fucking hero. Like first of all, why is her ulti seventy second? Like she actually has no weakness. Like <laughs> she she. Like, you can't even abuse her timings, it's just all her spells of like, one second cooldown. Yeah. Even from a drafting point of view, right? First pick Lena is not bad at all, because you can run it both mid and, and as a 4 position. Yeah, she's actually just bullshit. <laughs> you can even run her 1, like, she has movement speed, she's kind of move like, she has a uh, mobility. She just, she just, fuck Lena. 
<laughs> All right, well that's that's EE's e. rant on on Lena. Do you have any other heroes in this game that you feel particularly passionate well, about? Yeah, Lestrak. <laughs> well, Lestrak isn't in this game, but yeah, Lestrak. I mean, I think that everyone's passionate about Leshrac, though. A except for except for the, the the Lesh spammers in pubs, they're they're all about that. Wow. Same people who are spamming sniper mid. Yeah, that could be me. I think, but I, I I've changed my ways. I no longer play M4 anymore. I'm proud of you, MV. I mean, I lose like half my viewership though. If I if I feel like if I just played Lena Leshrac and let mid every game on my main account, my viewership would be higher. You can also play my commercials because you are constantly waiting for your game to uh, like you're waiting like an hour for a game. Uh -huh. You're like some quit K plus that anymore. You probably get an AK do nuts. But no, but instead is playing my carry gun safely. You know, losing every game. <laughs> um, being flamed all the time. Oh, like what do you know? We got another pause. So I actually wanted to bring this up last time. What what is um? There's a lot of people have talked about this, especially on Reddit. What does it take, Eternal Levy? What does it take to make Terrorblade a hero again? I just give him some strength. Just some strength gain or base strength or yeah, yeah, that's, base that's all he needs. Yep. Okay. That's it. Money changes. Give him like four or five base strength. That's good enough. Would you be happy again if Terrorblade make it back into the meta? Nah, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> it's like no point to carrying all these people. I feel. What? Like, what Gold actually thinking about it? He's, he's, you know, he's a drafter, you know, he's playing Lion, he's like, I wish I didn't pick a Lion, that's why, that's why he's thinking in his head right now. like, why am I a Lion? Look at me. He's not to get to the fun look, part of the Lion, though. Once look at me, go. I'm a Lion guy, believe me. <laughs> I did nothing in lane and do shit all game. Like, uh, lion. I mean, that is Gold Black's life, though. Lion, Dream Protector, Bane. It's all oh, he wish it was Bane. <laughs> Actually, Bane wouldn't be that good either. But no, uh, it would be better in lane, obviously. Go back. That's not where you want to be. <laughs> he wants a dagger, didn't he? Dude, if I can watch it back, he's looking at those creeps. <laughs> he's like, yes, Anthony, get the tower, yes! Tower has fallen. Oh my god. He's so fucking close to being useful. He's so close. Radiant's top tower he's got the Manta. Attack. Next item, though? Can't go butterfly. MKB's. I mean, you can, but MKB's already up on the gyro. No. Mm. He's going BKB. That's good. BKB and then um, what? Basher abyssal. Uh, abyssal. Yeah. Because yeah. like, you want to be able to. Anti mage doesn't necessarily win man fights in late game against these heroes though. Oh yeah. They had. There's a fucking Lena. Lena one shot there. One. If anything, it's going to be that. Uh, New team enter this like period of like really really strong anime and Lena play. Mine. They, oh god. Dagger. <laughs> Did you get it? You got it. I, and like this uh, this centaur yeah, over is like a lot of hit. You get the so much dramatic damage. And Lena just walks on the ulti. Oh, he's coming for the ice shards. Oh, snowball hook shot doesn't even seem to be yet necessary. New team finding some openings here. I. Navi, if this goes like 60 minutes, I think Navi has the advantage. Am I wrong? Oh, Navi has the advantage? Yeah, like 70 minutes. Let's say 70 minutes. Like, we start going super late game. Yeah, Who's perhaps. Better? They just start heroes aren't very mobile. Radiant's and it, it, they have a lot of weaknesses because none of, none of their heroes can make any plays alone. Okay. Like, for example, if Centaur finds a hero, like, he's not, even if he finds a line, Lion's just gonna fucking, like, like, he's gonna stomp him, like, whatever, and then he's gonna get attacked. But if Lina finds a hero, he's gonna get attacked. Oh! Oh, 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 to 66 HP. Lion also blows up the crystal main. Denny actually gives him a light strike array. Slows down some of his damage. He was hoping to go for Go Black. Now has to just suffice with no fear. Does get that kill thanks to both. And they do manage to pick up the Lion as well. I don't Whatever. I mean. Do you have faith in the Aghanim Scepter, though? Aghanim Scepter Centaur. It's coming. Oh, actually, that that's huge. Yeah, well, yeah they have... um. They, they can win, obviously. They can obviously fight. And like later, the later on this game progresses, as long as they keep the farm, they're gonna be strong at team fighting. It just like it's so hard for them to find those fights because they don't have a clockwork. They don't have these heroes that give vision. Right. They don't have a master style that give vision. They don't. They're playing. They're playing slow ass heroes, and they have one playmaker. And they'll have an issue. Lina just runs around, and 
If any one is with Lina, like Lion, any one of those heroes is with Lina, then that one guy's done. And eventually, anti is gonna have a pistol to the anti can also solo kill Fjord. And Lina can also solo kill Fjord, he doesn't even need help. So, whereas Navi can't kill anyone with anything. If they actually, if they five man gank the anti mage, anti mage will look. Well, the so is here. Maybe, maybe Navi. Do you think they should force the fight once they get the axe? Just try and push up Bill and yeah. uh, coming around for the, the anti-mage split push game to happen. Yeah, or they might just force the Roshan. I think we're forcing Roshan is the best because they're, they're not gonna kill Roshan. They're just gonna hit it to half tree and they're gonna centaur ulti and try to get. It. Like the happy meter. From no new team, like progressively from start of this game has like increased slowly as time progresses. There's like a graph of happiness versus time. So it'll be a linear, li linear graph upwards. <laughs> so a slope of 0 0.6. Oh, for a Yoku? Oh, he tried to blow up the Crystal Maiden, but now it looks like he's gonna be caught. Blink Dagger up five seconds. Can he actually hide himself in the trees long enough? No, Sandy's gonna find him and just commit suicide. So why not? It's a deadly game of hide and seek. This is uh, this is pretty important because he doesn't actually have much uh, mana regen. He went troubles for some reason, which is hmm. Now yeah, he's no buyback now because he had he's not Charles. I mean, but he bought that Charles. Well, doesn't it kind of fall in line with the the whole split push and trying to split up Navi as much as possible for you to be able to get pick off? I guess, but I feel like they already had enough of us. <laughs> he can't really speed it. Like he he tried to speed up his game too much, and now he died. He was trying to get some speedier. He, he needs item progression himself. He needs actual. He needs to get farm. Like he's not farming anymore either. All of a sudden, he's, not, he's nowhere near the top two anymore. He was at first. He was top one. Cause you know, like next to that stuff. Uh, he was top two, and then he became top one. Then he's got a good amount of farm. MKB, or do we go for? I mean, we've seen sometimes when, when teams have very little control, sometimes uh, SF will go for like the blink scythe of ice. Do, do you need something like that just to be able to give yourself pickoff potential against an AM, or is it just not going to be enough? I feel like at one point they're going to need to look at Satanic, so, but, but they might not have to get it now because they have the Aghanims on Centaur. Because Aghanim on Centaur is a really big deal. Really, really big deal. It's like Roche they might go for Roche. And they don't seem to care too much about vision. Whether it's the rocket or the shards, new team are always going to be able to have some inside the Roshan pit. So now you're going to try and battle it out anyway. They have no TP, have no TP on, on Shadow Feet, and Charles has TP. My goodness, if, 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 if Lina TP's top right now, like, if Lina TP's top right now, this Rax might be dead. Lina needs to understand this and, and, and set himself up top. top. And everyone else should be hooking in. Like people should be hooking in. Like lines should be jumping in. Like yeah, the top are just the right place. They need Lina top. They need Lina top. Oh my god, Antimage came back. Oh, they had such a good opening there. I can't believe PSM was able to to just push just away. No fear gone. Yeah. No fear got mad. You know he's like fucking yo. You we we need to make space for Antimage, and Lina needs to be top as well. And then that Rax is for sure does. Yoko's also gonna go down because he's stuck on top of the cliff. They keep on stopping his blink dagger. No escape. The buyback out from the lion is not gonna be enough, it looks like. Eight is easily being picked up by Dendi. And now the decision to fight. New team are gonna pay for it pretty dearly. Yeah. He needs to, uh, someone needs to give anti a TP. Like, Tosco needs to go buy one in the side shop for him right now. He's doing that. The anti mage can't go back though. I don't think anti mage has. Oh, he's got boots of travel, so. Maybe he can go up to the uh, the top lane if Navi start committing for a mid lane push. Oh my god, that was so big. Ugh, that was such a big play. Like, they just understood what to do. Like, there. They, they would have won the game right there. If uh, they both went top right there, there's no way. Like, the anti mage actually couldn't even deal with a shadow here. You simply just, at that point, like, you're, you're waiting for the attempt to TP back, right? 
once the Lena animates show up, then like Tusk and Clockwork, Snowball, yeah, Hookshot. Yeah, everyone just in. Like, there's yep. a line too, we'll blink, like, they're, they're running in. And, like, even if it trades free dust for it doesn't matter, as long as it gets the rocks. He is not dead. <laughs> so, some recovery bloodstone charges for Yoku. Okay, Lena, yeah. And then, he's fine. Yeah, or maybe he's fine. Yeah, he's fine. Oh, he didn't blink. He didn't blink. I think he might have been MKB hit. Oh. I think that stopped his animation. Yeah, that might be yes. No, he no. I think it was a little slow, and then and then he got MKB hit. Wow. Oh. Holy shit! I didn't expect that. Don't kill him actually. <laughs> he, he 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 didn't expect him to die himself. That's why he didn't him. Yeah. He wished him good luck, and they kind of got it. The MKB. That's a satanic on uh, Charlie. Do you need this? Does he have a TP on jumping? No, he doesn't. Nope. He Carl has still a TP. Carl can't defend against us. Like, they just go all in. They just screw top right. So let's go all in. Five man down mid. End the game. Radiance top and he already has. Oh, that TP coming up. He hits him. He's already gone. He managed to get the slow on Yoku, though. Goldbuck is here. He the hex, but Yoku is still in a bad position. As long as they keep stopping that blink dagger, they should be able to pick up that extra kill. So he commits suicide once again. Dendi gets away from FN. He's going to be fine, especially with no basher yet on FN. That was a buyback. Kind of wasted. Yeah, all that, no, that Shaffin was gonna push otherwise. Yeah, okay. So, that's right, but the, all of a sudden, like, uh, no, no. New team was looking like they were in control for a while, but after that Roshan, the, the set of events, like, Roshan, not getting tall racks, Anthony's dying bottom. Rock it on! Well, the lanes aren't pushed out in time either, like, they can't hit this tower, just turn to the bottom. They're gonna lose mid racks. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Or they're gonna have to fight this, and if they die, then they lost. <laughs> he's fighting a, a never-ending battle against the backdoor protection for that tier two Dyer's bottom, but he won't be able to get it. Mid racks should be gone here. New team, three Dyer's seconds up until Lena. PSM is actually trying to slow down that battle a little bit, I guess. Radiance bottom tower. Radiance bottom. Still get that tier 2 tower jump in. Dendi is right in here. Does still have his BKB. Laguna Blade goes out, but just doesn't seem to do anything. Dendi still going to be able to bat out and take up his melee rags. Let's see the ultimate just kind of trying to run away from these heroes. Funny though, immediately the target for staff over clip. Not quite. Will be immediately eliminated by both the Lion Finger as well as the Animage. Now Sineko's the next target. Hides himself in the trees, but not a hiding spot that will last for long. Still though, they managed to get the range oh, racks. Melee racks stayed alive. He didn't though. go. For, he didn't go for the melee racks. Like, it, it's such a hard decision to make because if he goes for that melee racks, he will get it for sure. But he will die, and he will be forced to buy it. And I, I feel like he made a smart decision by not going for the melee racks. That's, uh, that's fucking one incredibly hard decision to make. I feel like that's actually such a game-winning decision made by. Him. 38 minutes in, we're looking at 7,500 gold and experience lead for Navi right now. Dendi. Getting kind of close to that full six slot. He's going to have to trade out his mech soon. Uh, yes, he has those moonshot. And uh, travels. Oh, true. He yeah. goes for. Before he sells the mech, I feel. <laughs> I always forget about the upgraded boots of travel and the, uh, the moon shard. Dota 2 late game. I mean, he, he needs to get the travels for sure. Yeah. Like, that, that's one of the ways they can lose this game. Oh, PSM survives another really good play, and now? Well, they don't actually have the immediate damage, so Yoku just blinks away. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Right. He used a shell poison, and then he used a disrupt. Radiance I think. Top actually, I don't know. Maybe attack. just miss a shell poison, because if you disrupt someone, you shell poison, they can't blink afterwards. Mm -hmm. You don't even have to pop the shadow poison, right? It's just the, the act of the shadow poison landing on them, yeah. 50 damage stops it. They're gonna get the next item now, uh, soon. Atom Agent and, uh, Lena. What are those, like, those next items? Ah, uh, Abyssal. And... Abyssal for the M, but what, what's the refresher. refresher. Okay. You, do you use anti refresher, on Lena? Because I've, I've seen a number of games, Blitz and I have actually talked about it. There seems to be a problem with refresher on Lena. Uh, a lot of times, Lena's just don't get the opportunity to use it at all. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Like, she's just fine. Not sure though, it's kinda of hard to play few sheep against Sentra. And there we have a sheep. Uh, it's like butterfly? Oh my god! Ugh. I mean 
that's so bad. What a risk you'll happen, sir. Well, at least you still have the uh, SF and go for that. That's something. Um, Alright, new team. Gonna battle it out, or at least try and slow down Navi as much as possible for FN to push out that bottom lane. The melee rack is already gone, and Navi will rotate now up to the second lane rack at top. FN. He's at the base Dyer's now, but there's no creeps. Still back to our protection because the top lane isn't pushing fast enough. He's not Dyer's doing anything. He's gonna have to TP back, and it looks like they're gonna have a whole five versus five. No more split Dyer's pushing. Jumped in, and the Funny managed to get a two man stun. That's a great start. They stun the Fury Hunter at the same time, but the top's already dead. And he's enabled to get a little bit to spike the Laguna Blade Ultimate. He still does a majority of the damage. Denny now fights up against FN, who's forced to blink himself away. And a both and Denny still very healthy are left to be able to take on. Oh, we got the lane as well. Funny. Gives that extra kill. The Rax falls. And Navi, are they stopping? No, they've got the tier two at the bottom lane, so they actually have to back up now. Hmm. Yeah, oh, PSM caught, but that really doesn't matter too much. Oh, so much choking going on here. This, uh, like, in, a lot of Jarl in the water. Like, the, 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 that Jarl should definitely be better. Anti Mage had ulti up there, and he saw him in vision. Like, both of them should definitely be dead. Another thing is, like, the Lina could have bought the. The refresher before that fight started. Also, the butterfly was also up before the fight started, but he didn't buy it. He, he was sending the item to the he was sending the crew to the secret shop to buy the thousand of Asian, but he didn't have the quarter staff. Mm -hmm. So things like that. If, had they took that fight over butterfly with refresher, they would definitely win that fight. All right, now they've got some blink disable. Centaur has the site device complete. They have the refresher now. They have all the Radiant's items now. Middle tower has fallen. Whereas, uh, got it. They, they lost four X, but I feel like. Even though they have four Raxes, the, the map control won't still... Double damage! It won't be as much as people would think. That's just an animage factor, right? Just because he can... That's been push Dina, quickly. awkward. Yeah. Scarf factor. A lot of spam. Heroes are good against creeps. I want heroes good against Raven. <laughs> Navi. Do we have any smokes left on anybody? Uh, one smoke for Navi. New team. New team actually have three. And I kind of wonder how long they've had three, four. I mean, I guess they've been split pushing a lot, but... Still. It's uh, just lost smoke time. Like, I gotta say, I really hate this um, butterfly. Like, I mean, it didn't matter so far, but... The, the, the thing with, butter, with Abyssal Blade is that... Abyssal Blade means... Shadow Demon can no longer one first one you. Yeah. It means whenever you see Shadow Demon, he's just dead. You can't be that guy that just stops you from split pushing alone. You they always need at least three heroes to stop you. And yeah, this is that. It's that simple. Even if Bristol plays the the draw. Yeah, especially with no butterfly, he can blow up the gyrocopter really quickly. Dyer's bottom tower. But that's not the case. Fallen. Not anymore. SF. Denny's just sitting here in this top lane, waiting for the rest of the enemy team to take him back before he joins his team. And then he's actually gonna jump forward while Denny is here. Trying to go for some of the team. He's gonna pretty close up three heroes inside the cog. So both actually get bounced out to be able to control them. And then trying to go forward. At least the uh I don't even can't even get hit. He gets open flip, no fear, now trying to get him, and then now trying to keep running, trying to get the game. Lose the ultimate though, and FN takes a huge kind of damage. Hands up on Lena's now X hope. Five man can easily go by falls and just get a two man stun, but it's not good enough. Navi looking for the toss. He managed to blink away just in time. The rest of Navi still gonna try and hunt him down here. Nice use of the war there. Seneco actually reveals no fear. They will get this additional kill. It's just gonna be the enemy to the Lena left. Unless the toss has uh, a buyback, which she does. God, Tuss, such a hard hero to lock down, but finally he falls. I'm not sure what FN is. Did he run? Did he run? Did he run? Did he run? No, no, you need that. Oh my God, you gotta go back to What if he's trying to farm up? Like he doesn't give me all. They're gonna try to blow up. Anybody gets up and he's gonna get the head. 
Still new team. We're battling it out three versus three. Both no mana whatsoever. FD doesn't have the ultimate anymore. Zeno jumps in, pops the blade nail, but the satanic is too much for him to handle. Go Black comes forward, MKB. He's actually needs another right click. He gets off of the sables, but he falls as well. FD is left to cut this. Last time he needs to fight them, like, dude, you can't look at your own mind. I hate these players. Actually, I hate these players. I actually despise these players, though. Like, what the hell are they freaking idiot? They refuse to. Keep that last stand. Like, there's no way he doesn't jump that draw up there. Yeah, he had, they had a buyback online and everything, but it doesn't matter. New team has called it. GG and Avi. Shot of shy of elimination. We'll be moving on to the next round. I mean, now it comes back down to that that one fight where, like, the other uh, Roshan, they didn't just understand what they do. Like, what, the, what was the best uh, way of winning the game? Still, I, I gotta say, like, the game, like, that Jarl was dead. If he blinks on a Jarl, like, he was definitely dead. And this game will get for long, because the line with Vyvek, it's... I, I, I don't understand why the s Mage would just give up like that. Well, perhaps, uh, Dyer's emotions. Is under I mean, he just cares about PDA. No way. You better, better get it up by killing creeps, even like, you could keep up or you can I actually can't stand up. Stand up, sorry. <laughs> I actually think it's so disgusting. Well, Navi will be moving on. Uh, they're gonna move on to face against the, uh, the winners of... Uh... Oh no, they're going to be facing up against Vega Squadron, who yesterday beat uh, Monkey Freedom Fighters. Next up, we have Empire versus Five Junks. I know I'm pronouncing that wrong, but I don't know how to pronounce it correctly. We've got the next Empire match. We're actually going to probably try and cast it from Dota TV, so don't leave. We will be back. I need a, a very, very short break, um, fix some things, and then we'll jump straight into Dota TV and talk about the Empire match, which, uh, again, another elimination match. So